You're going to have a much easier time creating regular content if you use an editorial calendar. Now, an editorial calendar, all it means is that you're plotting out which content is going to go live on which days. So many people come to me and they say, I've committed to writing a blog post every Monday, but now when Monday morning rolls around, I just panic every week. I have to write something. I don't know what to write about. I don't know what to do. I'm missing my deadline. Well, think about TV shows that come out every week or even every day. Do you think that on Good Morning America, every morning they wake up and they think, oh no, another show that we have to do? No, that would not be very effective. They've plotted out their editorial calendar. They know what topics they're going to cover every day. Of course, all press does this, magazines do this as well. They plot out months in advance so they can get the thing done. That's what I want you to do for your content as well. Now, how often do you have to blog? This is a very hot question. I think the minimum that you need to blog is once a month. Now, that's really minimum. I'd really like you to do it more than that. But if people come to your blog and it's been dead for several months, they might think that you went out of business. So don't let your blog just lie there dead for months and months at a time. At least put a little update at least once a month. I think once a week is really an ideal schedule. You do not need to blog every day. You're running a business. The purpose of your blog is to support your business, not to turn into its own media property. So you don't need to go crazy blogging every day or multiple times a day. So here's how you create your editorial calendar. First, I want you to start with a list of blog topics. The easiest way to do this is just to list out questions that your customers ask you. If you're not sure what to blog about, just start there, right? questions that your customers ask you. Make a list of that and any other topics that you can think of for your blog and then go through them. After you've made your master list, go through your list and say, is this something that I actually feel confident blogging about? Do I want to write about this? Is this really valuable to my customers? Give yourself a little filter so that you know that you have only great topics. After that, all you do is move the topics to a calendar. Now, I like to use something like Google Calendar or iCal, and I literally just copy and paste that topic onto what day it's going to go live. So you might want to pick a day of the week. Every Monday, you write a new blog. Every Wednesday, you send out your newsletter just to make it easier for you. Here's the most important part. You have to commit to writing about that topic that it says on your editorial calendar, because the hardest part is figuring out what to write about. Even if you totally procrastinate, your blog is due on Wednesday, you're writing it Tuesday night, if you have the topic established that you're writing about, and especially if you're just answering questions that your customers already ask you, you can knock that out. So even if you're a terrible procrastinator, just stick to your editorial calendar and you will get it done. So remember, make a list of your topics, put them on the calendar, and then stick to your calendar. This is a simple tip that will make creating your content so much easier.